Right, uh, I have, or rather arrived on the 21st, just before I went away, uh, a letter confirming that I have my grant. Uh, I heard informally by phone, uh, but this is the real thing, so of course I tore it open and sent the little slip off that said, do you accept this grant? And the answer is yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, and I've filled out all the normal ethical things, and it's got all my... Uh, financial breakdown and how much um, I'm actually going to be getting which is wonderful and they've decided to fund everything in full which is brilliant for the equipment. Right the total value is uh, just under £130,000 um, of which that uh, about £64,000 is the actual fluorescence system uh, another eight or £9,000 is the um, specialised cells which we have to run everything in of which we need seven um, in fact it's sixteen thousand dollars because we have to get them from the states uh, and, the, and then there is um, what's known as the state costs uh, di and indirect costs and FEC costs which is sense full economic costing which uh, is basically my time and also if you like the rent on an electricity for the space as well for the next year. It's a f an optical system for one of our centrifuges which sounds incredibly boring but what you if you spin samples very very fast up to about 60,000 rpm you can tell s by their sedimentation properties an awful lot about them. Uh, this has actually become very big business within the pharmaceutical industry because they like to know that their preparations are homogeneous but you can also tell if your protein exists on its own or as a dimer that's two of them or up to a tetramer or or bigger aggregates as well um, and we've got the money for a f detection system that works on fluorescence which is a lot more sensitive than the existing system so we can actually look at f um, things at lower concentrations and and consequently because of the way this works tighter and tighter in affinity higher and higher affinities um, and the sort of things we can look at is protein DNA interactions, which um, previously we couldn't, and will be the only facility um, that's available to the rest of academia and industry that will be able to do this. So there's several companies that are actually quite interested in using it. And another grant application um, has been sent off already based around that. <laughs> as soon as we heard, most of the other one was written, so it went straight off a couple of days ago. Uh, when I heard on the phone, I mean, I sort of got, had got into the office about uh, in the morning, and about 9.30 in the morning, the phone went. Um, and, I think, and your first thought is, uh, well, that's, <laughs> that's the start of the day going, because <laughs> it's the first phone call of the day, and it usually proceeds downhill from there. And it was a nice man from the Research Council um, saying that I'd got the bid. So I went immediately out and told my colleagues, and, um, and, uh, and told my co-investigator, who, who was in another building, by phone. Um, so yes, felt quite chuffed and quite happy. And then, of course, the next thing of whatever was happening on that day happened, and it went on from there. Um, as for getting this letter, um, it happened on the f last Friday before holiday, and uh, I was in fact in here only very briefly uh, with actually the rest of the family because we were going out to dinner with the rest of the group on that on that on that lunchtime. So I opened it and saw all the important things. Uh, and signed it all off while trying to chase children around the office at the same time. <laughs> so it was it was exciting, but <laughs> I was also a little occupied at the time. The, the sort of grants that we normally want to try and get are your classic three-year grants with a postdoctoral researcher on, of which I've got one of those already. Um, however, these equipment grants really do add value to what you're doing. Um, it, it opens up completely new vistas uh, of research. It allows us, because we're a national centre, to offer a different type of service to both our academic and industrial customers. Um, and therefore, when we want to go back again to the research councils of funding and say, look, we can actually do this, and this is completely unique, um, and we're the only people that can do it, and we're also the only people that understand the results as well because the other thing is that we want to do this in solutions of high concentration and most of the equations that you use for working these things out um, are for dilute solutions um, because it, uh, what's known as ideal conditions and the big thing to work things out is what's known as non-ideal conditions or where you have effects of what's known as thermodynamic non-ideality 
uh, which is a big complicated way of saying that your answer doesn't quite match up to what you expect it to be. <laughs> it will install downstairs on one of our existing centrifuges. Uh, now, we normally we said the grant will start on the 1st of April, um, so the money should be coming through soon, and as soon as that's received I will start ordering um, stuff. Um, I, there's nothing I can really do before the 1st of April beyond get more quotes in. Um, but uh, once that's up and running, then we've got to install it. We've got to test that everything's okay. We've got to put through some test systems to see that's all right. Um, and then we've got to start, you know, sort of looking for projects and for work. Now, we've got several people who are already interested in this sort of thing, um, big time. Uh, and then, of course, we've got to analyse this stuff and, look, uh, and understand the results. Which is not, it is going to be reasonably trivial because it's just an extension of what we're doing already. But I suspect, uh, from what I know about the properties of fluorescence, that it's not going to be as mm, trivial as we thought it's going to be. There's going to be a few complicated things there which we're going to have to um, sort out. Well, um, it was a good grant. I mean, um, w it actually. Um, had a few really, really cool ideas in there, and some really, really smart ideas. 